Hey, are these videos doing well on YouTube or are they dying on the vine? I don't mean well by Mr. B's standards. I mean well by my standards. Because that'll inform whether or not this one makes it there. <laughs> They're dying on the vine. <laughs> I watch them. Okay, well then, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, this is we're, we're doing our dulls today. This is the Rotten Tomatoes Daily. It's from 1998. It's a horror action fantasy adventure. It's exactly two hours long. It's a movie. It's from 1998. It's a horror action fantasy adventure from 1998. Relatively well liked by audiences, not well liked by critics. It's one word. I know it's not this, but just like give me a plausible guess. This could be Hook. An entertainingly macabre and excitingly staged action horror with a propulsive energy from 1998. I feel like Brain Dead, no, Brain Dead is critically beloved and is probably from earlier as well. Cobb, an excitingly staged action horror, 1998. I'm skipping, I don't have an answer. A t a blade, it's Blade! Techno vampire pick, it's Blade! Dude! I know Blade at a 58. I should have known. Blade 1 is pretty sick. The CGI is hilarious. The starting scene is incredible. All the choreography is amazing. And also the scene where Blade uh, is chasing the... Um, what do they call the guys who aren't vampires, but they're going to become... Va they want to become vampires. So they do the vampires bidding. They're not sycophants. They're like um, thralls. Yeah, when he's... Fa or familiars. It's one of the two. When he's following the, the familiar in the car and like he's just driving, but then like the, the New York City behind him is like constantly like pivoting on an angle and going like fast forward on a VCR is so good. I love Blade. Blade's a lot of fun. Um, okay, and then normally we start with maybe like a Cine 2 Nerdle. Okay, average score today 4.2 out of 5. Seems pretty standard, really. Robot Police, Dairy, Dairy, Pennywise, Richie, this is It. It has Beverly as well. Now, I'm also seeing Beverly Hills, Police, Comedy, that's, that's Beverly Hills, um, Cop. Then, Omnicorp, I know Omnicorp. I don't know what it's from, though. Oh, wait, Mutants? Mutants New York City, you know, you got me thinking of uh, the, the Teenage Mutant variety. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Robot Police Detroit is Robocop, which is also Omnicorp. Is this correct? Yes, okay. Robocop 2014, don't insult me. We got three, we got eight swaps left. Oh, okay, we have The Hills Have Eyes. So swap me here. And then swap me here. I don't know what the other one is. Oh, it's Ghost Removal New York City. It's Ghostbusters. Okay, okay. We got there today. Apparently, there's, there's some more puzzles I missed, too. Oh, yesterday's. Apparently, yesterday's was pretty hard. <laughs> Hang on. Average 3.5 out of 5. So I, right off the bat, I see Matt Damon. I see Christopher Nolan. And I see black hole, and I'm thinking that we're looking at um, it's got to be Interstellar, which does not have Halle Berry in it, but that's okay. Let's, so th that's going to be Interstellar. I got to think about what goes here. Mal, that sounds right. But I'm like Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio. Let's catch me if you can. Con artist, biopic. I hate to do two swaps here though. Should have thought more carefully about that. Halle Berry. Tom Hanks. I doubt, I doubt Tom Hanks or Leonardo DiCaprio have been in a, a Netflix original. F France and Timothy Chalamet just seem to go together here. King? King of... It's Timothy Chalamet in a movie where he's a king of France? No. Nope. Mal Architect? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, this is Inception. This is also Christopher Nolan. Oh, no, it's Shapes. <laughs> oh, no. 
I can't, I can't, I can't work them, man. I can't work them out. I, with only 10 swaps remaining, I can't, I can't hot swap. I can't figure it out. Wait a minute. In, in, Interstellar is not a biopic, so that can move. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I don't think that's real. Okay, hang on. Well, you know, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. These can just move anywhere. The biopic could be a Netflix original. Well, these need to go. It's like Christopher Nolan needs to go here. And then Black Hole, Matt Damon, and then Interstellar goes here. We only got seven swaps left. Halle Berry was in a movie called, like, Gothica, which is a horror movie. It was not a Netflix original. Maybe she was an architect? Oh, no. Biopic? Timothy Chalamet. King. Of France. By Chris. Oh no, bro. Because a Christopher Nolan biopic. Uh, this is going to be like a first man. They're, all, they're both part of the same movie. How am I supposed to get them to, to go to the same spot? This one's impossible, man. Also, what's this? Oh, you know what? Maybe it isn't interstellar at all. Maybe that was the maybe that's the trick. But black hole? There's probably no black hole in First Man. Timothy Chalamet, King of Horror. <laughs> oh, King France Architect. Netflix original. <laughs> Private. One biopic. I I I give up. Yeah, you got me. At least you got one. I lost it. I lost it trying to rotate shapes. Okay. Catch me if you can. This is Interstellar. Timothy Chalamet is in Interstellar, apparently. I don't even know what I'm looking at. This is Inception. It's like Bridge of Spies. The King, 2019. Okay. I feel like I should have known. Oh, Saving Private Ryan, Tom Hanks, Matt Damon, Private Friends. Obviously. Okay, you know what? It's good to be humbled. We got one more from... This must have been like... Actually, this was probably Fridays. Flight Intoxicated Denzel Washington. That movie is called Flight. I see Ethan Hunt... It's Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise. I see Tommy Lee Jones. I see The Riddler. I see Val Kilmer. Holy cow. <laughs> um, wait a second here. What's the fourth? A oh, Wayne. But then this four young adult genre. Abnegation. I have no idea what that is. But I do know Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Ethan Hunt, Rogue, and then this is Whiplash, right? One of these is Whiplash, but there's five of them. Okay. Young adult genre four, Miles Teller. Okay, no, no, Miles Teller would be, it's got to be Whip, Miles Teller. Impossible, because it's impossible to live up to J.K. Simmons' standards. What is this movie? Oh, Div I didn't know Miles Teller was in Divergent. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. I got nothing, man. With Denzel Washington and Val Kilmer in a movie together? Flight. 
four flights of stairs. Miles Teller, whip. <laughs> it's impossible to live up to J.K. Simmons' standards. His name is Wayne. That was a waste of time. Tom Cruise, young adult. Wait, Val Kilmer was in a young adult movie called Willow? Tom Cruise was in a young adult movie called Legend? Val Kilmer, young adult genre? <laughs> Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, flight? Miles Teller! <laughs> oh, Top Gun. My ass was trying to get to Willow. Holy cow. Two swaps remain. Okay. We, we left on the Cine 2 and Ertl, We left on a high note, at least. Oh. Okay. Take me to Tradle. Tradle might be my favorite. Holy cow. Never mind. This is impossible. 27.2 million. Their number one export is non-filleted frozen fish, and then their number two export is fish fillets. <laughs> Vaccines, blood, toxins, and cultures. And then their total is 27.2 million. I mean, that's like so small. I have to think that it's like the Solomon Islands. It's close, but it's 4,000 kilometers southeast. It's Vanuatu. It's the Marshall Islands. <laughs> I don't know, man. This, I will say this is a little bit like actoral. I can't even think of the, is American Samoa? I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't even, it, to this extent, I don't even know what's down here, quite frankly. I have to, I, I, I'm, Okay, I'm going to say Canada, just, just to throw it so I don't cheat by looking at chat. It's the Cook Islands. It's a little bit like actoral, where, like, I play it because, like, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know if these quiz developers know. I don't play, I don't have to play these games. This is not, like, assigned homework. It's not like I'm growing as a human being. I play these to basically inflate my self-esteem, okay? So if you, it, I'm not saying that every single one has to be, like, America, you know, or something like that. But does every single one have to be one of the 10 smallest nations on, the, on Earth? The same way actoral, like they never give you Brad Pitt. They're like, oh, this was like the person who gave Al Pacino his first dose of cocaine in Scarface. Like, come on, just, just one day. Why don't you just give me like a, why don't you give me, just give me like a Mexico. I'm sure like in the top five, I would see avocados. They would have like tens of billions of dollars of exports. And I would be like, that's good. Okay, we also, we do like Globla. Now with Globla, we like to start with Algeria. It's very far, 12,000 kilometers. That's like almost the maximum distance away you can get, I think. <laughs> um, give me, just give me a Venezuela. It shouldn't have a chance to be right, but it can tell us maybe if we're on the right continent. Venezuela is actually further away, which is almost unfathomable. Um, so give me like, um, give me something in here. You know what? Just give me, um, give me an Afghanistan. 7,000 kilometers away from Afghanistan. Okay. Give me a... Tell you what, give me a... You know what? Just to get more information, why don't you give me like a Thailand? Because I was going to say South Korea, but you don't get too much information off of the neighbors there. 3,000... Oh, you know what? Australia is pretty far from everything. Is it possibly Australia? Oh, 
Oh, I was like, this can't be real. What country's far away from almost every other country? It's Australia and New Zealand. No disrespect to the Cook Islands. Average guess is eight. Today's guess is five. Well, well, well. And then we do Worldle. No, nope, I'm not going to do this. Wait, maybe I can because there's ads. Or not, there are ads, but there's, uh, they give you info when you get it right or when you get it wrong. I can talk. I know how to talk. Flashbang out. I don't know what country this is. Um, you're the Cook Islands, probably. Not even close. You are 15,000 kilometers west of that. You are Crete. It's not even a country. You are something in the Caribbean. No, maybe something in you're like Malaysia, something in Asia. Six thousand kilometers west of Malaysia. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, does this country look like a boot? And I'm scared that maybe that's Italy with like San Marino next. It's not. Listen, it's, <laughs> it's not Italy. Don't be stupid. But what other country could it be? That shit looks like a boot, man. It doesn't look like the Italy boot, but it kind of looks like. And I was like, maybe this is the Vatican and this is San Marino and they just blew it out for some reason. I don't This is uh I, don't, I, I couldn't even come up with a sensible answer, but I'm now thinking maybe this is Dominica. So, like, is that a chain of islands? No, it's to, the, it's to the east. It's way further away. We're going to the east. 13,000 kilometers to the east. It's closer to Malaysia. This is like off the coast of India or something. Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka is just one island, but okay, it's, it's much closer Southwest of Sri Lanka, this shit is the ocean. No disrespect. I give up. I say Anguilla. I say Angola. Oh, no. Seychelles? <laughs> Seychelles? This is crazy, man. It's been a, is it, they're really out here giving us these tiny countries. No disrespect, disrespect to my Seychelles viewers. How about today's movie to movie? Juego! Okay, this is, this seems doable. Silence of the Lambs to Mission Impossible 2. Who's in Mission Impossible 2? Tom Cruise. Um, Tandy Newton, I think. Silence of the Lambs. You got Jodie Foster. You've got uh, Anthony Hopkins. I think we could do this. We, we, listen, we're trying to get to Tom Cruise, which probably means we're going to connect via. Tr I, I know, I know how I have to do this. It's Silence of the Lambs to Jodie Foster to Elysium to Matt Damon. Matt Damon and Tom Cruise must have been in a movie together. <laughs> Tom Cruise doesn't do that many ensemble. Or Matt, Tom, Matt Damon and Matthew McConaughey must have been in a movie together. Interstellar, McConaughey, Tropic Thunder, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible 2. Sorry, Mission colon Impossible Two, okay. Listen again. I I go for speed. I don't go for fewest number of jumps. And I think for speed we did great. Anthony Hopkins is in Mission Impossible Two. By the time you figure that out, I'm already seven dolls down the track. Quite frankly, we're not playing correspondence chess. This is bullet. Guess the game. Give me some guess the game. I'll tell you, if you get this on guess one, you've lost your mind.
wait a minute. No, I feel like I can get this. I feel like this takes place in a kid's room and this is the wall. This is like um, Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. Metacritic score not available. This is Lemmings 2, The Tribes. It's a browser game. Oh, no, no, no. This is, um, this is Cookie Clicker. Okay, I honestly complete guess. That's the grandma. Okay, fair enough. Pretty good. Now give me a chrono photo. Chrono photo has been kind of eating us alive lately. Well, they're offending me right off the bat. So they've given us a photo of the worst herring fishermen in Norway. Why would you show us these, these women? are pro Probably the police were like, you're being arrested for not being good at catching herring. Can you hold up all these herring that you caught? And they're like, she's like, I'm going to prison. What's my husband going to think? It's kind of embarrassing, quite frankly. This looks like a colorized photo to me. I'm saying this is early 60s. I'm going 61. 52? Okay, 52. 2020? Emergency life pack for eight days. This, to me, looks like an advertisement for what to do if a nuclear bomb hits. Cold War really starts popping off early 1960s. Give me a 63. I'll take that. I don't know anything about early cars. I'm going to say that this is... Say this is in the 19... Honestly, based on the hats... I'm thinking this is like 1948. Oh, 1934. <laughs> okay. It's Martin Luther King Jr. I would say realistically, this is probably early 60s. Let's go 62. Oh! And this is the this is Super Bowl negative 40. This is uh, George Clooney and Leatherheads. Let me get a 1926 on that. 1913. Okay, they kind of got me today. <laughs> me and the boys last weekend. I mean, the leather helmets, like that's a... <laughs> that's a special one. 